Mother, Father, God, thank you for this wonderful time together with this, um, this team of amazing ladies who are sharing what they know and what they're here to learn from each other on this beautiful day. We are so thankful and so grateful and all is it is. Um, a little background. Um, I'm talking about a, a book that a friend of mine, a Facebook friend of mine, um, I met her on Facebook and she um, told me she was moving to the Northwest and like anybody that's moving to the Northwest where I grew up most of my life, I usually offer them some tidbits of how to get around or where to go or, you know, highlights. Well, she was so gracious and it was only a month or so later that I found out she grew up there and she never told me, but she, um, her name is um, Reverend Megan Smith Brooks. She's a unity minister in Tacoma, Washington, unity of the sound. Um, and she's a um, speaker and she does retreats and stuff, but she has this book unraveling grief and she goes through the grief. Her youngest son was killed and she's, wrote this book because of that to try to unravel her own grief. But the chapter on gratitude is what I wanted to share. She talks about gratitude as being, and you've heard this analogy before, like a pearl or like an oyster that has an irritation, but instead of kicking out this irritation, it sends out more shell making material to kind of cover over this irritation as it turns out a pearl arrive, ar arrives from this and that's where we get the term mother of pearl because of the layers of the shell making that the oyster sent out and he does he doesn't kick the pearl out he embraces it not knowing what it's about but he embraces it in the way that he can by putting more shell on it and then she goes on to talk about how Teilhard de Chardin talks about joy comes from gratitude, that it's a practice. And then there's another story of, about the caterpillar that wants to stay a caterpillar, but if he doesn't um, move with the change that's going along with his body and tries to do it too soon, then he never becomes this magnificent caterpillar or butterfly. So she talks about all that. She talks about how Jesus went out to his hometown and he expected to be welcomed by those he knew that he had grown up with. But he was surprised to find that they didn't understand him at all. They really didn't embrace him and so instead of bad mouthing them in any way he said they're not ready for me yet and he went on to another town so the idea of being grateful being appreciative as a practice is what brings us joy anybody else have anything to share Yes, I, I will share. What a great topic. Um, I love the idea of taking an irritant and, and making it into something beautiful and making it into something new. I think so often we can decide, oh, this is just too hard and give up on it or, or no, this, I really don't like this and throw it away. And, you know, what, what I thought of was crafting you know, taking things that, that are kind of discarded and thrown off, you know, wire and and glass and turning it into a mosaic or or a stained glass window. And I always think that's so profound. And they have a a tradition, it's the Japanese tradition, if something breaks they fix it with gold. They inlay it and put it back together with gold. 
because that break, instead of making it worthless, enriches it and adds more to the story of this particular piece of art. It, it makes it what it was, but now it's so much more because it went through, you know, whatever it was that, that broke it. And there's a saying that wherever you're broken, when you heal, it's stronger than it was or where the rest of the, the piece is because it's healed. It's not what breaks us that makes us stronger. It's healing what hurt us and healing what broke us that makes us stronger and more beautiful than we were before. So I really love the lessons in living in gratitude and it really kind of changes our own story. If we look at the hardships we've overcome, not as, oh, what did I have to go through? But, oh, look what I came through. I am so grateful for who I am today. I think that's a very powerful way to live. So thank you, Nancy. I have not read that book, but what a powerful lesson. Thank you for sharing it. Yeah, thank you, Nancy. I felt like that was a uh, particularly good lesson for me. Uh, a pearl happens to be my birthstone. So uh, I kind of feel like uh, I'm going through that all the time. And uh, being the student that I am, I can appreciate what you're saying. Thank you. So I, I thought a couple of things that I've learned along the way when you shared where she talked about the pearl and how the oyster just keeps building it, that it creates this pearl out of this sand that is an irritant and the caterpillar that was reluctant to become, you know, transform and become a beautiful butterfly. And, and it sort of brought to mind about, you know, what are the things when we're in the caterpillar stage or going, you know, cocooning, you know, are we reluctant to come forth and, and be the, let ourselves be what we are fully capable of being. And one thing that I always think about is the, um, the lesson that I have heard is about difficult people in your life are put there. They're the sandpaper for your soul. They're the ones that are going to grind on you, wear you down, tire you out. And they were put there to make you stronger. They're, they were there to buff you out like the, the diamond in the rough that you need to be, you know, sanded down and brought out to bring that essence of that beautiful diamond within. And that God put those those circumstances or those people in your life to get you through this, to work through it and to come back shining that brilliant diamond within you. And I, um, I can always think about when I'm really struggling with somebody and it's like, oh, why, you know, and I think, think, okay, they're the sandpaper for my soul and they're rough, you know, <laughs> sanding out those rough edges and, and from this, I'll become a better person or, or more open and, and understanding. And so it's sort of like just acceptance of that, you know, changes in our life. And that, you know, through in this part where she wrote this in dealing with the grief of losing a, a child, you know, that there's a lot of questions and a lot of hurts and feelings and things like that. And that she used that time period to create this this book to share her story to share what she's had to transition through and that become her that attitude of gratitude that you know in the process of this she became stronger because of this and thank you for sharing that and for bringing this author to our attention because a lot of times there's many great books out there that we don't know about and when we can learn something new so um, knowing about it's Reverend Megan Smith Brooks, right? And, and yes, and it's M E G H A N M E G H A N yes. Smith Brooks. Yes, she's yes. on Facebook too. Right. Yeah. Um, I I can mention one other thing. She talks about it in her belief that gratitude is related to prosperity, and she said it's part of the law of prosperity. <laughs> 
Oh, she's she's at Unity of South Sound. And when when we don't have a lesson, I listen to the ones there. Super. Yes, there's a lot of a lot of places that we can, you know, get inspiration. And so that's good to know. So anybody else have anything mm -hmm. they want to share? Or if not, um, I want to thank um thank the panel for being here um and sharing their thoughts and and for Nancy bringing us this um topic on um you know having a, a grateful life and i will close this in prayer oh heavenly father the divine creator we know that in our lives there are things that brought are brought to us that we will struggle with and that we will have some conflict and we know that through this we can come out stronger more aware and more loving. And it is that gratefulness that we were given these lessons to show us the way to bring us closer to thyself and to bring out our divine goodness. We thank you for blessing us for this group that can be here to share their thoughts. And for those who join us on um, looking us up and watching us, and hopefully they subscribe and continue to get the wisdom that we're sharing. Amen. So we thank you all for joining us today on this um, topic of discussion. And if you really like it, please leave your comments because we will respond. We like to hear what people have to say. Um, if you have any topics you'd like us to further develop or discuss in more depth, we're always open to suggestions. And please subscribe. We would love to have you as a subscriber, and we will continue to let you receive notification when we have a new topic of discussion. So thank you for being with us today. And thank you to the panel. Bye. Thank you for joining us and let's stay connected and grow in spirit. We are on Facebook, search for Unity Church of El Cajon and follow us and like our posts. You can reach us on YouTube at Unity Church of El Cajon. Please subscribe to our channel, watch our videos and leave comments which can help us improve. We are on the web at unityofelcajon.org. Email or call our church office to receive our weekly newsletters, which lists all of our activities and opportunities to learn and grow together.